So essentially, if you look at my chat GPT, I got like a, a landscaping bot, an SEO bot, a social media bot, a, you know, a, a, a restaurant bot, you know, there's all these different bots that are specialists in those specific areas. And, and I think that's, uh, you know, one of the big things we talked about on a previous episode with Dennis Yu was really going into um, some of those, some of those prompts and having the, the chat GPT dive deeper into a specific point. Great example of that is saying, Hey, go research Max Webb's website. And I'm going to be interviewing the CEO, Anna Gita, and give me some questions I can talk to her about. Okay, that's cool. But what it's going to churn out are a bunch of questions that you've probably already been asked on other podcast episodes. So it's like, cool. So it's like going back in and asking Anna, well, let's talk to me. Give me some more questions to ask Anna about native ads, for example. You know what I mean? So it's it's taking it that next level. So it's not just like the direct response that you get from ChatGPT, yeah. but diving deeper into it. I love it. That's so smart. And we, we do something similar for native, but I made a mental lo a note of the team learning to like use different areas for like uh, gut health should be a different, you know, bot from the vision bot because many times you want them to be have their own specialty. So that's very smart. We obviously use it for ads a lot because it's it's great to uh, to have that. Um, but I'm uh, I'm actually gonna make. Uh, uh, let's see what the marketing team does if they if they do something like that, right? Even with blogs, I think it's gonna be easy. We'll, we'll take it to the next level for sure. And I think it's such a great tool.